Welcome back to the Throga channel. As always, my name is Richard. And as always, my name is Johnny. Hey, you said it right that time. The last video was fantastic. <laughs> what did I say last time? <laughs> always as. Johnny, always. <laughs> always as. <laughs> we were still waking up. <laughs> Today, we are going to react to a song that you have selected by Jay Hope. More was the number one winner, and it's to my understanding that it's a little more rock orientated. So I'm mm -hmm. expecting to hear maybe a little electric guitar. That'll be nice. That fits into my realm of taste. But Arson, which is another song that was on the list, came really close to that. And there were a few people commenting that he performed more and Arson at last year's award show. So why not do them both? There we and go. We make the rules here. That's right. With your guidance, of course. We're nothing without you, yes. This is true. Our BTS rabbit hole journey would have stopped at Jimin. We would have assumed everything sounded the same, and we are so glad it didn't stop there. We're continuing mm -hmm. down the rabbit hole today with both songs. There's one more we have to go. So what are the members that we've gotten so far? Uh, Jimin, uh, Jin, uh, V, RM, RM. Um, sugar sugar and then today yeah j-hope J -Hope. and then and then jungkook is the last one yes i'll just say it now go ahead and check out the youtube community tab so you can vote on which song we should react to before october 16th 8 a.m eastern if you haven't already heard johnny what's happening at that time oh i don't know i think we're doing a like a big humongous spectacular special by watching the documentary of all seven members the guide to bts members with taylor mari joining us live and she's going to fill us in over the last year and a half so if you haven't already seen the event announcement go check that out in the playlist so you can get your details there and we're really looking forward to that it's coming quick yeah can't wait is there anything else uh there's one thing Make sure you like and subscribe and you ring the bell, everybody. Absolutely. So you can always know what we're up to. And even though our journey with the, the BTS members is coming to a close, I'm sure we're going to keep it's, exploring more. I was going to say, it's really, it's our first impression journey is coming to a close. But now that we realize there's like 400 more songs... We're, we're going to pepper it in. We have we're to go be back. We're going to be busy, yeah. Especially it's not Jim. the end, people. It's just the beginning. We started with Jimin with one music video, and like all these others were doing like two songs, three songs, mixing with live, things like that. So we're going to have to double back for sure. Mm -hmm. yeah. And we have to add snooze at some point for the React special that's going to be at our website that you can check out, throwgood.com slash react. You can join an email us there, and we're going to have some extra exclusive videos to explore as well. And while you're there, be sure to check out online voice lessons if you're interested in learning how to sing, and songwriting lessons, that would be with Johnny, if you're interested in learning what chords he's talking about when he's dissecting these songs. Because Maybe I should start taking the lessons from you. Yes, and I'll teach you so well, you'll know when I'm making them up and just <laughs> making them up on the spot. Like, no, there's not a plus 14. It's a lie. <laughs> it's a plus 14. <laughs> Here we go. Already, I'm hearing uh, Billy Jean and we will rock you. So I'm already excited. Yep. <laughs> Just like the buildup. Yep. I love the dramatic flair that they, they all seem to have. Yeah. Their live shows have to be unbelievable. Oh. Oh. Oh, 
이미 지쳐도 make it move, make it mind, make it right. Don't look on guy for every sign. You're nice, I'm the bonds, I'm the eels. They're doing this on stage. Cool. Just the stage, like I'm trying to figure out how they're doing this on stage. Are they actually, is this a video that they're showing or, I mean, they're like set into this box. It's, yeah. Is it a, is it a box or is it just an optical illusion? That's, well, I that's think it's, what I'm trying to figure out. Yeah. I think, okay. Just based on the fact that nobody's crossing that seeming line. Yeah. The bottom the, part. It's, they're, with the they're walls. descended I think it is. into something. Seems like it. It's wild. Yeah, that's cool. And I want to hear. He got low there. What was he doing right there? I gotta hear it he again. He dropped no. down. Hold on. Fade out. So it's an A. Wow. It's kind of like faded into that low vocal fry. It was just. I just mm -hmm. thought it was a cool texture. Yeah. Well, let's keep it rolling. Yeah. What is happening with this? I I don't know. Wait. Oh. Okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay. It was. <laughs> we were just like, is this, is this happening? I was, it was cool transition, though. Mm -hmm. Getting little Beastie Boys here. Yeah. Cool growl. All right, stop it real quick. So I just want to talk about the intricacies between, you know, the different rappers in BTS. So we're we're self-proclaimed non-rap people. I'm definitely starting to notice, like, between the three of them, it's not all just a, an umbrella rap. I mean, there's they're distinctly different deliveries. Mm -hmm. uh, and this one's got, like, almost like a hip-hop 90s thing, little Beastie Boys in there. Um, at least in the yeah. song. It's at least the in the song, impression. yeah. Vocally, he's adding elements that we heard Augusti with a little more of like gravel moments, things like that. It's almost like an in-between in terms of textures between RM and Suga, as far as the different imbalanced textures. Just again, first impression, there's a lot, a lot mm -hmm. more to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The other thing too, is that Bridget gave me a heads up that- uh, Bri Bri Briget. Forget. Remember? Forget. The ghost of Baker with the da 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 yes. da 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 Bridget da da da. Our announcement video. Yeah, that's where we did that. <laughs> J-Hope. 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 <laughs> anyway, she was telling me that J-Hope was known as the sunshine personality. And apparently okay. these two songs that we're checking out now, or at least from this, this is his latest album, is much darker. So I guess the other songs just musically are a little bit lighter okay. and, and things and so yeah I, like can, I can see that i can see that because even even with this song if this is his dark dark song it's still like a little bit more lighthearted and sort of fun yeah but you can hear it's like the, the electric guitar the facial expressions mm -hmm. the dance uh has like an attack to it but but i agree there's there's probably a balance to yeah you yeah gotta like bounce a, your beat that's a good way to put it uh so that just means at some point we need to circle back and hear what he did before this album but mm -hmm. moving on. Yeah, definitely hear the Beastie Boys influence. Oh, yeah. I like the soundscapes. They got like kind of like, what is it, almost like a. Yeah, like a Wurlitzer. I don't know. Wurlitzer. Or like an electric piano sound. But like I like roads. that instrumental sound against the beat. It goes kind of back what you are picking up earlier. There's kind of like this darker side of him, apparently, that we're seeing. But there's like mm -hmm. these references to something a little bit lighter. You can Yeah. 
It's got a, a 90s like hip hop vibe to me, which mm-hmm. there was some obviously dark stuff from that era too, but it was, I don't know, just compared to now, like the rap now, it's like more lighthearted, which right. I like. But. Let's change. Ah, uh, there's no. So I just realized I couldn't understand anything. <laughs> so I was listening for the the lyrics, but I don't have them for this. I'll look them up for the next song. Let's just okay. keep going here. It's like a Timberlake, t- um, Timberland and Timberlake kind of style too in the, like the early 2000s as far as some of the, the soundscapes that they're using, some of the loops and things like that as well. The stage show is super cool. Yeah, so I love even the stage if show. even if you're up high, you're on the nosebleed seats, as they say. It's like you've got just total eye candy taking place. The way they're yeah. lighting everything up. Even though this is one of his darker tunes, there's like a fun factor to this, which is cool. Yeah. All right, so I think he's going to go into the next song. So let's look up Arson real quick. I'm going to pull up the lyrics. I just texted you the lyrics, so you've got like a quick reference. So if you want to reference anything in particular, you've got them there in front of you. All right, so Arson. Mama, y'all ready? Yeah. Let's go. At no point in my career could I have sold this move. Mama, you ready? Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Never would have happened. <laughs> Actually, you know what it kind of reminds me of is when you do those full body cracks. Like you would just collapse your whole body. And you're like, you're just, you're just like, oh my, my, my young broken it's joints. It's like a rag doll. <laughs> he makes it so much cooler than I yeah. could ever do. There's, just, there's such a... Uh, a sense of trust with your body and your image and your presentation to like, I mean, any kind of dance move, right. To just like throw yourself into something dramatically. Right. And he's got such confidence in what he's doing. Yeah. It comes across in the whole last song, just leading into this one. There's a sense of just artistic, artistic swag. awareness. There's swag, but there's also, you can just tell like he's doing exactly what he wants to do. <laughs> I mean, for lack of better words. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, and that's that's the vibe I get with all the members, really. Fair enough. Again, that sort of '90s throwback beat. Let's get growl again. It's a different vocal flavor. More aggressive. There's another performer. Doesn't need a bunch of dancers. I mean, the first right. one, it was great to see the, the interaction with that mm-hmm. and put on a good show. But then here he is, like, just it's him on a massive stage in front yeah. of tens of thousands of people just it's a owning cool, the space. Cool juxtaposition of uh, 
all the yeah all the dancers than just him yeah yeah lyrically so i was kind of thinking arson i typically think of something destructive ne- negative right yeah, yeah but that's not that's what's what, that was my original yeah so to my passion burn to my hopes burn doesn't sound like it's he's trying to get rid of those things or destroy them it's more of no it's, it's like a, a fire like underneath him driving him yes this. i don't know if this is his first solo album you guys can let us know i don't know how many solo albums these guys have um and i know bts yeah. put out a bunch of things and you know i don't know he's like reaching a pinnacle sense of like who he is uh, from what i'm just kind of reading ahead a little bit with the lyrics too but yeah yeah he's on fire in a good way. Oh, cool set. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you see, now you look at the back cup and it looks like not a good thing that's happening. <laughs> it looks like. <laughs> I, but part of me is going like, wait, did, did we assess the lyrics correctly <laughs> or are we yeah. completely off? Because it does look destructive. <laughs> right. But it's but, but it feels uh, still celebratory more. It, it does. Yeah, it's just like this inner fire that's burning and he's just, he's just like making it happen. He's just hustling. Or we're completely wrong and, and, and I'm sure the army yes. will inform us accordingly. <laughs> Please let us know. <laughs> Nice. Cool. And this too has some of that, that production style of like the, the Beastie Boy, like snare hits and things like that. Yeah, too. Just, like just the sound a little of the bit. snare, the hi-hat pattern. Yeah, it's just like it's got that bounce to it. I feel like it's missing from the, the modern day hip hop and rap. Again, not that I listen to a lot of it, but the stuff that I, you know, that I do here, it's like, you know, it just doesn't have that, that funness that, I, that the old stuff has. And once again, bringing in some concepts into rap that maybe be a little less traditional or at least not presented in a traditional way lyrically so like just it's a cool title with kind of a an interesting angle as opposed to just you know burn everything down or burning my past or burning a relationship which you hear a lot of lyrically in different genres not just rap um so this is kind of a cool twist in all the rap songs that we've heard from the members there's been a lot of comments on this that what they're rapping about subject matter there's a death to it it's mm-hmm. not just your typical like money cars and yeah. hose <laughs> <laughs> i liked how you had to process whether or not a you should say it <laughs> what what is the correct word for it <laughs> and what does it mean <laughs> yeah so there's just like a there's a deeper meaning to this if i'm going to listen to a rap song i want there to be a good message to it awesome. again uh, just another flavor to the bts machine another distinct flavor it's so cool that they got them all together and, and they formed this which we're going to learn group. about it's really a super group it is in october 16th we're going to learn all about how they came together because we don't actually know yeah and we're purposely like being you know staying sort of naive to everything because we want this to be like a genuine reaction it, you well, know we don't 40% lazy, 60% strategic, maybe 50-50. I'm not really sure where the line is, but... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, somewhere somewhere in there. I enjoy reading the comments because in like 
just hearing just the little gems of information based on what we're doing and in response to our questions, as opposed to just going on Wikipedia and looking it all up. It's definitely been more fun having, you know, a hand to hold, so to speak, down the rabbit hole leading up at least to uh, Taylor's video. So, yeah, no, we're kind of going crumb by crumb to this, to the delicious bread that we're going to taste. Baguette? <laughs> Baguette. <laughs> And on that wonderful note from Beauty and the Beast, thank you for joining us and like and subscribe. Bye for now. Thank you, guys. See you later.